What's happening, people? Um, yes, back again, a little bit earlier than I said. But um, yeah, this this video is. I'm gonna try and keep it short. They do move a bit quickly than I than I expect. But um, yeah, this video is basically about um, just updating everyone on on um, the actual procedure because, to truth be told, um. I've had a lot of phone calls, personal calls to me, like from like friends, you know, families, um, that sorts of stuff. Um, comments on um, on the the video itself, you know, and um, I'm starting to realise that a lot of people don't really. Hold on, let me just set this set this little tripod down. Hold on. Yeah, yeah. A lot of people don't really um, understand the procedure entirely which i suppose they wouldn't unless unless this was something that you you either um were actively investigating so um i'm just going to break down the procedure real quick as you know my first video starts at my second month part so no one really got to see that our the actual operation took place but i do have pictures and i'm going to include them in this video here um, just to sort of give you a little visual of, of what I'm actually saying. So, um, bottom line is, look, um, the procedure I had is called an FUE procedure. There's also FUT, there's also DHI, but you know, that's, that's going on and on. Just do, just do your research if you're interested. But, um, the FUE procedure that I had is, um, where they use, a um, it's called a micro needle, I think, something like that, but it basically extracts the follicles from, you know, your donor area, i.e. the back and the sides, which is, um, when it comes to men, the back and the sides of your hair, um, are, you know, those, those follicles are the follicles that are resistant to, to male pattern baldness, which is hair loss, you know, like, um, when you lose the top of your hair, basically, you know, you see an eight year old man, for instance, um, lost his hair but still has hair around the sides and back so that that's the um that's the idea of, around taking the hairs from the back and the sides of your hair or your head because those follicles are resistant to um DHT which is a hormone or a chemical in your body in a male's body that um destroys the hair follicles on the top of your head so you know, um, and that's why um, you've heard me speak about um, the, um, you know, the items and stuff that I've been, that I've purchased in order to assist with um, helping my hair regrow, but also to retain the hair that I have at the moment because um, a hair transplant doesn't solve your hair loss problem. It doesn't cure it. You know, it's just a way of um, replacing hair that's lost. But, you know, as time goes on, you're going to continue losing hair. So that's another thing for, to consider. Don't think a hair transplant is, is a cure. It doesn't work like that. You know, so that's the first thing to like sort of get in your head. That this is going to be an ongoing thing. That if, if you're going to be fighting hair loss, it's, it's treatment. So, you know, you're going to have to be, you're going to have to incorporate a lot of things. Um... You know, it's not difficult. If you look after yourself, it, it, it comes to second nature anyway. Well, to me it does, so. Basically, I'm, I'm gonna break down um, some of the things that I've got also, um, which I was advised by the um, clinic that I spoke to before I actually even got the air transplant done. They um, advised me to, to start taking um, biotin, which is here. Um, biotin, What's that? A thousand PG. Um, well, look, that's that's the one I have. Feel free to buy any one you want if you're interested in all this stuff. But buy a tin. I've definitely from taking it. I feel it's been working because um, I cut my help my nails a hell of a lot more than I used to. My nails are growing rapidly, so hopefully it's. It's you know it's helping my nails grow, so hopefully it's doing the same to the hair. So um, yeah, biotin, pumpkin seed oil, yeah, pumpkin seed oil, 
Oh, is it milligrams? Okay, yeah. This is a thousand milligrams. Yeah, I suppose the biotin was a thousand milligrams as well, but they got something different on there. Um, so palmetto. This is another one I've been taking. Um, I wasn't. This this wasn't advised to me by the clinic. This was something that um, I saw on someone else's YouTube. Is also um, we also undergone well underwent um, undertook uh, air transplant. Either way you want to describe it, but um, yeah. So yeah, and a, and a lot of people have spoke about taking this. It's supposed to help with um, yeah, lowering the DHT in your in your system. I think. Yeah, and um, Expecia, this was, I put, I purchased this at the clinic after the hair transplant because they, they do tend to sell you some stuff after, you know, like to help with the whole process. You know, it, 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 it's by choice really, it, it's up to you if you want to buy them, but um, this is a sort of multivitamin, it does have some of the stuff that I just spoke about, like it has um, biotin in there. So per metal, but it's got a whole range of other stuff. But you know, I bought it anyway because um, anything to help out, I'm down with. Uh, I also purchased this from them as well. And uh, I have uh, to truth be told, I haven't used it much. I've probably used it about four or five times. Um, they did say to use it anyway, start using it after the second month. I haven't used and I was meant to use it every day for two weeks, but um, but where I found that my scalp was still a little bit tender. I didn't want to start adding any any chemicals and stuff like that to my scalp until my until my scalp feels 100% or at least somewhere close to that. So I, I, I sort of used it a few times, but not as as it was prescribed or or told to me to use. Um, what I have been using is I just use well. I, I just got out of the shower not too long ago. I washed my hair last night. I washed it with the um, Nizero. But didn't um, but not in the mornings. Um, and plus, I shampoo my hair every three days. I tend to just use straight lukewarm water. Um, maybe put a conditioner in there, which is a biotin-based conditioner. But um, yeah, wash my hair. Then I use E45 to sort of like grease to to you know moisturize my scalp. And then I use a blend. Of oils that I sort of blended up myself, which is um, four different oils, mainly um, black Jamaican castor oil, and then the three other oils like um, Joe's, the, the whole hoba oil, um, an argan oil, um, another one. But I'll, I'll get that in a description somewhere in this video just to help out. But um, yeah, back to the, the procedure. As I said, it's, um, the procedure was all about removing follicles from the back of your head and placing them in the top of your hair or the top of your head where you're losing hair. That is that, that's what this procedure is. It's just a transfer of hair from one place on your head to another. Um, main reason for this video is because I, I, had, I had a funny call from my mum even which was um, why you make people so sitting in their head, <laughs> yeah, which was funny. So, you know, and, and then on top of that, I had a friend follow me and he was like, um, bro, did you get to choose the type of hair that they put in your head? You know, like questions like that, which it sounds funny to me because I know, but you know, if you don't know, then I suppose these are valid questions. So yeah, it's nothing like that. It's just transferring your own hair, well, your own follicles, from the back of your head or the sides and remove and removing them to the top um, with the hope that you know that root is implanted in those places where you're losing hair and then they regrow that's the idea around a hair transplant so um, yeah that's the bottom line but as I said YouTube is all about um, research as far as I'm concerned and and learning so yeah don't just take what you hear from me research it yourself look into it um, what's been interesting to me is as well is the, the amount of females that's called me regarding this subject which I, I didn't even consider myself you know but um, yeah it's, it's I suppose hair loss is something that affects a lot of people not just men 
and I suppose it's a lot worse when it comes to a woman because it's almost acceptable or or not even acceptable like but in a man's life it's in a large percent of men it's inevitable so when you do see that happening it's just like whatever in it a man can shave his head off whatever shave his hair off and you know and, and crack on but with a, with a woman it's a, it's a total different ball game so I've spoken to a few women and you know it's it's been like um, eye-opening and, and and sort of like you know a learning experience to, to just realize that little insecurities that me myself I might have and someone else has that you know there's a whole range of people that are going through the same sorts of things so um yeah videos doing this video has been you know great in the sense of me just um being able to you know just open up more about what I'm doing here it just makes life a lot easier anyway and just just getting on with things because obviously I haven't reached everyone that I know and everyone that's around me but just knowing that I'm talking about it makes it a whole lot easier so yeah journey continues anyway as I said I'm gonna do my next video which is gonna take place in the barber shop hopefully I'm gonna go to the barbers and get all this off because yeah it's um I ain't even bothered to bother, um, I haven't even bothered getting a trim or nothing like that. I haven't even shaved, nothing. I'm gonna just leave it all for um, the day at the barbers, which should be in about the ne next week and a half, where I go and get, get hooked up properly, man. See if I can get, get myself looking decent again. But yeah, as, as it is at the moment, no trim for at least three, three weeks now to, I don't know. I ain't touched it, I just left it to grow. So let me give you a quick shot of this, um, how it looks at the moment. Cause you know, this is all about this hair, hair transplant. As I said, I don't know what, you know, maybe I need to go in the bathroom where there's a mirror so I can see exactly what I'm showing you guys. All right, I'm in my bathroom now. Um, is the sides it's the other side okay I can use the mirror see the back let right, me spin around so you see the other kind of side of the back of my head Yeah, and then there's the top of my head. This is where the hair was transplanted. Um, yeah, see, as as my hair gets, well, as it grows more around the sides, you 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 see the crown a whole lot more, and that's that's what I was concerned about all from the very beginning so is it growing anymore not really if I'm going to be truthful I think nothing has really happened um, I don't know if I, I'm even going to go as far as to say I think it's you know a little bit worse but they do say you go your, your original or the, your existing here does go through um, shock loss. Obviously, um, your scalp has been, you know, um, it's, you've had surgery. Your scalp, you know, there's been injections and you know, and all kinds of incisions made. Well, I'm not. I'm making it sound worse than it is, but you know, like they they they've done. You know, your hair and your scalp has been you know, been irritated, so, um, yeah, they do say you get a bit of shock loss sometimes, um, hair seems, uh, you know, seems all good, but, like, right here, and, and as I said, I didn't really have an issue like that before, but, but at the same time, I think the front of my hairline, like, I've got these little, little baby hairs growing through there, which I didn't have, so, you know, it's, it's early days still, so 
we're just gonna have to just see how it goes. Um, hopefully, end of this month, go to the barbers, and my barber can, you know, hook me up. Make me look like someone's picked me again, you get me? And yeah, and that's it then. Straight updates. I'm gonna be as truthful as I can with this thing. I hold, I, I ain't got nothing to hide, so you know if it helps someone else. And um, yeah, you wanna go ahead with it. Uh, I, I, I ain't getting paid or I ain't getting any freebies or nothing like that. I won't refuse them, but you know, it is what it is. So yeah, just um, yeah, like and subscribe. Forward it on to whoever, you know, some people might just, some people are interested, some people ain't, you know, but just, you know, forward it on, it all helps, and, um, yeah, catch you in the next video.